I am part of the team of Odo Europa, a Horizon 2020 project using artificial intelligence to investigate the importance of sense and smelling. We start by finding smell references in digital text and image collections. We are analyzing more than 30,000 images. In each image, we identify objects which have a smell, actions such as sniffing, and facial expressions and emotions associated with the smells. In this video, we will take you through the journey of how to smell a painting by focusing on the biblical story of the adoration of the Magi. The scene depicts three men presenting offerings at the birth of Christ. These men surround a baby and his mother, one kneeling closely to the child with a golden chalice. With computer vision, we cannot identify a narrative in a specific image, but we can identify the elements that, together, make up a narrative and we label the fragrant elements using bounding boxes. These boxes encode information about the visual objects and their position. Using this information as a training data, we teach our models to automatically detect and localize smell-related objects. Some smell references, for example the cuddle in this image, can be found directly by detecting the objects because they carry a smell themselves. In other cases, the smell references are more hidden and have to be recognized indirectly. Art history tells us that two of the offerings are actually smells, frankincense and myrrh. In order to reveal these hidden smell references, we need the help of art historians. Now let's take one of the offerings, myrrh, to understand how we can go from the canvas to the nose. As we can see here, myrrh is a tree resin which is hard and sharp to the touch and very slightly in color. The smell is at first faint, but then becomes more and more intense. Museum experiences are primarily visual. However, understanding artworks from an olfactory perspective adds a valuable dimension to our experience. At Odoropa, we developed a nose-first approach through an odor wheel. It combines smell categories and scent names with stories, artworks, and objects, revealing connections through smell. For example, resinous leads us to myrrh, which leads us to the adoration of the Magi, the birth of Adonis, and myrrh bearers. We can use its concepts and connections to order the images according to a nose-first perspective. This might reveal surprising similarities between images that do not have much in common visually. In order to digitize the smells associated with historic artworks and spaces, a team of heritage scientists will analyze and preserve the chemical and sensory properties, working with perfumers from our collaborator International Flavors and Fragrances, or the Europa researchers will develop historically informed recreations of the smells depicted in the artworks. These recreations will be presented in museums across Europe, enabling thousands of museum visitors to experience the artwork with their noses. And that's how you smell a painting. <laughs>